And a couple of friends suggest that I put this together and I'm hoping that someone finds it helpful. It's just a quick oil change on a ST1300. Uh, anything you can do on your own, save a little time and money is certainly good these days. Uh, you want to make sure you warm the bike up for about five minutes so that the, uh, the oil is going to flow uh, freely. Make sure your pan's in place under the drain hole and you need a 17 millimeter socket wrench to back off the, uh, the plug. Uh, once you get the plug out, just lay it in the, uh, the pan there and let the oil flow. And while we're doing that, we can take a couple of minutes to identify where the filter is. Just back at the hinge point for the center stand, you can see it there. Um, this one has a 17 millimeter uh, socket lug on the end of it, which makes it really, really easy to take the filter off. Uh, clean the drain plug, put the drain plug back in, and then you're ready to reposition the uh, the drain uh, pan for the filter. There's a couple of shots of the different styles of filters that are that are available. If you have the uh, the one that I unfortunately got this time, you need the Honda wrench, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. Uh, the K&N filter, this one here, I love it, and you just need a 17 millimeter socket and it makes it easy easy. So reposition the uh, the drain pan. I put the cookie sheet under the center stand because invariably there's going to be some drippage from the filter. And when you unscrew that just be prepared uh, to have that positioned properly to catch oil otherwise you'll have a mess. And while that's draining we'll go around the other side of the bike and remove this uh, little cover door on the fairing. Just just very gently push the center of the uh, the plastic fastener in and then it'll jiggle out uh, and you can see it on the right there it pops out and then just remove the door and put it off to the side somewhere safe this will expose the uh, plastic cover that's underneath there that protects the area where the uh, the, the fill plug is and your, your spark plugs are under here this is just a picture of the underside of that cover so you can see there's a rubber grommet and a peg on the engine mount you have to pop that left hand side off of that peg and then slide it to the right toward the front of the bike so that those hooks uh, slide away from those rubber grommets there and then you just have to jiggle it a bit and that plastic cover will come right off. Once you've got that plastic cover off again it, ex it, it uh, exposes your fill point there and uh, once you've got all that done double check make sure everything's tight. We'll pause for a moment while you fill it with your favorite oil double check the levels and make sure that uh, you've got the appropriate level consult the manual for the the amount that the bike takes I'm not going to suggest uh, I think it's around four liters maybe just a bit more and then it goes on in the reverse order the right side those two hooks go around those rubber grommets first and then you slide it to the left toward the back of the bike and then push down so the left hand side snaps over that peg and then just slide the door back in there's two little tabs there it slides into place then you put the fastener in and the little push pin in the center just give it a push and it pops down and flares out on the underside to keep it in place there we go and other than a little cleanup you have just changed the oil on your ST1300. Uh, you can see why I use the cookie sheet. Uh, I'd rather have that on a $2 pan from the dollar store than all over my garage floor. And good luck!